Hey there all you Wilsons! So today I'm going to be teaching you the song Wilson Expensive Mistakes by the band Fall Out Boy. I'll be totally honest with you, this is one of my lower ranked songs off the album. I know I asked some of you legends to rank the album, well the songs from the album in yesterday's volume of Fall Out Dilemma. And actually, I'm really surprised that most of you really enjoy the song. Like Arcane, Michaela, and I don't know I'm forgetting some of you. Like you guys absolutely digged it, and I was like, okay, well, for me personally, it was it's a good song, but it's a bit overproduced. But nevertheless, it is amazing to play a guitar. So let's kick it off with the first guitar riff. <laughs> the first riff and essentially we're going to be on the sixth and the seventh frets so for your index finger you're going to go on the sixth fret on the g string middle finger sixth fret again on the low e string or should i say, or is it the high e string high e string and then your middle finger will go on the seventh fret on the b string like so and you're going to play that around 15 times <laughs> I was 15, I, I wasn't counting, I just play it. And then we're gonna move it to the second chord, which is index finger on the seventh fret on the B string, and pinky on the ninth fret, low E, high E string. So, you only play that three times, all of the downward strums, by the way. And now you're gonna, a similar chord, well, the sim, same fingers, we're gonna move your index finger to the fourth fret on the B string and then 7th fret on the pinky, on the high E string. And you're gonna play that 15 times. Like, you know the general gist, so... And yeah, hopefully you can play that riff now. And now we're moving over to the verse. So, this is all my own creation. Stumpy plays are completely different to me, but how I play it is like this. So it's essentially, you're, pl you're strumming three co power chords and then you're going to play the actual root note. The root note is essentially, so for a power chord, just say for this song, you're re it's really focused on the high, the low E string, second fret, index finger, and then fourth fret and fourth fret over for these two fingers on the fourth fret and on the, on the A string and D string. So you're only using these three fingers. So two, four, and four, and that's a power chord. So you're gonna play it three times: up, down, wait, down, up, down. Yeah. So you play it. So you strum three times, and then you're gonna hit just the root note. You play that chord four times. the whole chord, or power chord I should say, down one whole string. So then you're going to start off with the second fret index finger on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, and fourth fret on the G string. And that is the verse done. And now I'm moving to the pre-chorus. That part, I'm sorry that I sung, like I really enjoy singing that, but I do not have a singing voice. But essentially it's the same power chord riff as Kids Aren't Alright, pre-chorus, which is really interesting. So both of these songs have the same guitar power chord, but the pre-chorus, who knows, Fall Out Boy. Uh, so it's essentially the same deal, so root note 2 on the A string, then 4th fret G string, 4th fret. B, uh, D string. So you're gonna go to the root note and then move down to the fourth fret and then the sixth fret. Yeah, 
So two, four, six, six, four, two, four, two. And that is the pre-chorus done. You can you can strum it how many times you want, but I'm pretty sure I'm confident that it's only one strum. But live he, he does something Stumpy does he plays it differently and I'm like I can I tried learning it but I could not learn it. So that's the pre-chorus and now moving to the chorus. I, to be honest, this is the second take of this because my phone decided to run out of storage again and I filmed like eight minutes worth last time and I'm like no, so this is a repeat. So if I'm speaking fast, that's why. I'm pretty annoyed. But it's okay. Alright, it's so another chorus. Well, it's similar to the verse, so it's just He said this time we're not hitting the root note individually, so now it's just power chord, second fret on the low E string, fourth on the A, uh, on the a fret, and fourth on the D string. So you can play that four times. We'll show it four times, and then you play it four times. The whole power chord down one string just like before and then you're gonna do it so the root note is on the second fret the a string fourth fret fourth fret same deal and now so that's the chorus done and now we get to the fun part of the lead riffs the D string on the 8th fret and then you're going to move over to the G string on the 6th fret oh my god I'm so sorry about that it's 8th fret again sorry on the D string and then G string 6th fret and then your pinky will go to the 9th fret on the B string and then your index finger will go to the 7th fret on the B string again so And we're going to play that again, but the third note is going to be going to the 11th fret. So same deal, A, 6, and then this time your pinky is going to go to the 11th fret. And then back to the 7th fret again. So that was two little variations. And now the third variation is going to be like this. So now we're going to move to the 9th fret on the D string, yeah, and then 8th fret on the, oh, I hate these strings so much, on the G string, and then same deal, 9th fret B string, 7th fret B string, and same as before, the 3rd note's going to go to the 11th fret, so 9 on the D string, 8th fret on the G string, and then pinky, 11th fret, same deal, Night, uh, seventh fret on the B string, and that is essentially the whole song. The bridge is the same as the pre-chorus, so it's just. Then you play that like twice. The only reason why I haven't recorded an actual guitar cover for this song yet is because when he's going the walls, I honestly do not know how to play that guitar. The rest of the song I do know. It's just that part. Right now I'm just playing it like the chords from the chorus, but it doesn't really sound right, so I don't know. Hopefully I'll be able to substitute that guitar for something, but when I do, when I achieve that, that's when the guitar cover will come out. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this guitar tutorial of Wilson Expense in a sec. Please tell me below if you have learned anything from this guitar video. It always made, melts my soul when one of you champions goes, Kevin, I actually learned how to play this ball or something. So, like, it's amazing. I love inspiring people to play guitar. So, hope you enjoy. And make sure you subscribe for more guitar covers, mashups, tutorials, and the Yasuvis. I'm actually recording 
an episode of Stay Frosty Bro Milk Tea very soon, like in like 10 minutes after I record this. All right, see ya.